Hello everyone. Big dog still up here in my warehouse. Now I uh, I watch a couple people on YouTube. I watch one guy, his name's Cinema Sickness. Dave, he's a good guy. And uh he always does his videos. He goes out to Jake's flea market a lot. He does a lot of random stuff. It's kind of cool. Check him out. Uh but uh he goes to Jake's flea market a lot, and I've been wanting to go out there. So I got a hair up my ass yesterday and I went. And uh, when I got there, I started talking to people and tell them I was actually hoping to bump into him out there. And uh, sure enough, he showed up. So they, they tried to tell him somebody was looking for him. And they told, when I came back around, they said, hey, he's right down there. So I went and found him. We, uh, I tagged along with him a little bit. I asked him, he said, yeah, sure, come on. So uh, it's neat to watch someone else in action on how they do what they do. So I'm learning some pointers. So anyhow, real quick, at Berlin Flea Market, I did a video a couple while back, maybe last video, whatever it was. This is another bag of shit I just found under my seat. So this came from my buddy Tom. I collect these. Uh, they're 80s. Uh... These are the pulling tractors, but I also collect the monster trucks, pulling tractors, kind of stuff. And then, of course, these. And I have one of these robots. They're neat. They got sucks cups. They walk up a wall. So I picked that up for like a buck. I think it was like a 50 cents a piece or something. So I picked that up. So let's go back. So I went to Jake's Flea Market and bought a PA. Uh, because I've been wanting to go out there, and I finally did. So I went there. One of the first things that come up on was this box. Well, I had a sign, six for a dollar, whole box for five bucks. And I started going through it. There's a lot of little PVC figures in here. And these PVC figures actually sell really good in my store. So just a Coca-Cola bear. Some of these I don't care about, but uh, it's a Halo figure. Oh, what else is there? There's all kind of random stuff. But uh, there's Mickey. Little books. They're kind of neat. They came with lifesavers. Uh oh, another pack of lion cards. And I, I go back. Nope. Where's Chris at? Muppet stuff. Check him out, too. Scar. I just got a couple. Of, oh, there's, there's Simba. So, some of these things I will go through and put in the store. Cabbage patches. But there's just, there was just so much random stuff. There's Nemo. I found him. I found Nemo. Crazy stuff. Cabbage badges. Like I said, the PVC figures, I do really well with them. The Berenstein Bears. In the back of Jay, if you're watching, I know you like you're getting into them PVCs right now. More care bears, cabbage patches, uh, tailspin, I think. Flintstone, bam, bam. Oh. I know it. Garfield. Right in. Garfield. Care Bears. So, like I said, I paid five bucks for this. And I sell these PVC figures anywhere from three to five bucks, depending on condition, size, rarity, type stuff like that. And that was a good movie. I remember Fern, Fern Gully. Oh, your eye pop right out of there. 
So, this is the Bar Simpson. Oh, Chip and Dale. There's Dale. Another Cabbage Patch. Sky for Little Mermaid. Luigi. So, when the lady said five bucks, you're going to have it all, I just took it off. And I'll triple my money right there. So, and this other stuff, go find its way to the auction. Well, that's cool. Here's that. Doesn't say, of course not. It's cool. Oh, this is for Snoopy. All right, so that's going to be it for my $5 box. And like I said, I'll do very well with this right here. So I was walking around, and there's all kinds of different little buildings and shops there. And I did a video there, but it got corrupted. My phone's been having issues with videos, so who knows if any of these videos I'm doing tonight's going to actually work. But uh, so here's Amigo Charlie's Angels van. It's a little rough on the rough side. has a crack here. Has been glued. Uh, I don't know how good it's going to hold. But the stickers are decent. Angel power. Now I have all the Charlie's Angels for this. So. Angels have more fun. But one of my angels has a broken leg. So I'll put two in the front seat and one in the back. Laying down like she got hurt on the mission. So I. Uh, I got to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to get some bleach with a sponge and see if I can try to bring some of this color back the best I can. I'm trying not to hit the stickers because they are there. But, of course, this is all. Oh, nope, that didn't hold. That didn't hold. Oh, well. Figure it out. Figure out something. If we can do something there. So, I picked this up. Uh, I can't remember the gentleman's name. He's over by the food court area. He had 40 bucks on it, and then I got it for a really good deal. So thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, this is Big Jim. This was there, too. At his same stand. He hooked me up with that. The punch arm, whatever, still works. Let's push it back. So... So I was walking around by myself at first before I even bumped into Dave and uh, come across this kid sells fun go pops. And when I saw this, I had to get it because I'm going to send this to my cousin. He, uh, he lives in Gainesville, Georgia. He has a restaurant there. His son does. And uh, it's called the Inked Pig. It's actually I uh, got a Facebook page. You can look it up on Facebook. You'll find it. So I saw this barbecue pig. I'm going to send it down to them so they can put it in their store. Just have it as a little trinket. So I also, uh, when I was walking around, I found these old Snoopy pieces. He wanted 10 bucks a piece. Told me five hours each. This is broken. This side's not. But well, you only see one side when you put it on the shelf, right, honey? So uh, I just think it's cool. She has a couple of these. Nothing on wheels. They usually stand by herself. She does have this guy. I want to. He's the photographer. I have the astronaut in the same outfit with his helmet. Uh. But anything Snoopy, man, she she loves it. So peanuts related, Snoopies, it doesn't matter. So I, I looked at this Godzilla and I wanted it. God gave me a price. And it's kind of neat. I guess that goes in there and then it shoots out. So it's kind of... When he's standing up, it, once you move his tail... 
it stays in him, but when you move his tail, it shoots. So then the, uh, the Jurassic World dinosaurs, oh yeah, Jurassic World dinosaurs, I'll get it right. These are newer, but uh, got a good deal for a whole lot with the Godzilla. So I jumped right on that. But you have uh, all kinds of velociraptors, all Jurassic World. You have this guy here. And uh, a couple of these other ones actually got, they talk. So they work. And uh, so five, ten bucks a piece, man. I get that all day long. So I'm cool with that. So at this point now, I met up with Dave walking around. And uh, so I'd got all this stuff prior to. And then I met up with Dave. And... Every time you buy something, he like you know he goes over. Hey, let me what you get. So it's kind of cool. But I uh, I got a whole bag of how many? Is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces in here. Nine pieces, and a lot of these are cabbage patch kids. And had three dollars on the bag. The guys, I just marked it down to two. So I got this whole bag for two bucks, and I sell these guys for three dollars each. So. Not bad, and they're super clean. They're not dirty. Again, my wife is a snoopy person. I'll probably say a hundred times. Uh, this merry-go-round, whirl-round of them looking up at the tree. It's kind of cool. So I guess this does kind of work as a spinning ornament. Lucy, Snoopy, and Charlie. Then I got this Charlie Brown. Now she's got a whole bunch of Hallmark stuff. I mean, ornaments. We don't put a big tree up anymore, but she'll take her ornaments and hang them all over her little Snoopy tree. It's funny. She's got like five of them. This is kind of cool. This is uh, the baby's first Christmas, actually. That's kind of cool. So I got all that there, a good deal. Uh, I forget what it rent. It came with like 40 bucks, and he knocked it down a little bit. So it's kind of nice. Uh, saw this book. It's kind of neat. U.S. Born published in November 427, or number 4278. Friday, October 13th. Come on. This damn phone just ain't working. Well, it says 75,000 B.C., but it's just not. What the hell? I need a new phone. But anyhow, it's got all kind of stuff in here. Man burns finger on fire. It's all Stone Age kind of stuff. It's like a little kind of gag book. But definitely a cool little thing. Getting tooled up with the Stone Age Sentinel. Fire in the hole. Let's step on it. So kind of crazy stuff. Now, I saw this prior to my first walk around in there. And uh, the box is just destroyed, and it's a shame. As far as this being sealed, on this, it's new. The, <clears throat> excuse me. The piece is new. But uh, as far as... Like what it does, I don't know. It's a talking room defender, motion censored. So when you come close, you usually put this on your door, your room or whatever. It talks to you, stay back. It's morphing time, whatever. Uh, I'm going to try to clean the box up the best I can. It's very super dirty. Uh, but very, very cool. One other thing I liked is these old record players. When I was a kid, just had one. So here's a Smurf one. Guy says it works. I haven't tried it. 
Uh, this has a not a Snoopy song. I thought man, it'd be great if I actually had the Snoopy record or not Snoopy Smurf record. Snoopy on the brain. Uh, what is this? Connie France's brother, can you spare a dime? And somebody else is taking my place. But uh, so I thought that was cool. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. Wipe it down. Probably gonna find its way in my store. So that's gonna do it as far as my pickups at Jake's Flea Market. But I was asked to go with Dave and Mike. He was hanging out with his buddy Mike. And uh, they went down to this. I'm probably going to say this name wrong because I, I can't remember it. Fensters. Fences. Fensters, I think. It's like a, it's like a store like mine. It's a uh, co-op kind of thing. It's in a big warehouse. There's all kinds of vendors in there. Furniture, DVDs, all kinds of stuff. So... Uh, if you're ever in the area of Jake's, it's literally about two miles down the street. So just Google it while you're there and you can go check his place out too. So we, my store sells a lot of Mego stuff. So this is the Mego Wizard of Oz Emerald City playset. It came with the eight inch wizard. So I saw this on there and it had two prices on it. And we wound up getting it for the lower price. The box was a little on the beat up side. Uh, I took care of that, made that look a little better. This was all bent up and like apart. So I took care of it. This piece is coming apart. But here's the actual Emerald City playset. Now, it's dusty. I wiped it down. It's not bad. But basically, you just, it's Emerald City, so you would just play with it. I'll go around the other side so you can see that. So this all kind of opens up into different rooms. So, really, really cool. I really liked it, so I went and talked to the guy that owned it. He gave me, like I said, for the cheaper price, which was really cool. And like I said, it just folds all up in itself, which I ain't gonna do right now because it's a pain in my butt, but. So, and here's the box. Like I said, the box is in great shape. It's just a little bit of that peeling, but other than that, I mean, as far as being from the 70s, I mean, this is in really good shape. So, also while I was there, I have a, uh, a lot of people collect diecast cars for me, and they ask for certain things. And I've had people ask me for tracks and trailers. Uh, I do have a friend that does drive a hauler, and he she has a monster truck. So when I saw this, I had to have it. Uh, and then you, that's a Peterbilt one down here, and these are diecast. So, and this one here uh, is a Kenworth. Just pulling a big Conix box. So, he had, he had some decent prices on it. And then I asked him, you know, he told me he'd do better if I wanted to buy them. And I saw this. He had two bucks on it. And I said, well, I know you're already giving me a good deal, but can you throw this in? He goes, yeah, no problem. So, so that's going to do it as far as all my pickups I got yesterday. So, some things are going to the store, some things will be at Columbus, some things will be going to the auction, like that box, once I finish making sure ain't nothing else in there I want. I mean, I'll keep this Dragon Ball Z, but there ain't really much else in there. So, this is Big Dog. Rate, subscribe, hit that like button. Till the next one, everybody be safe. Big Dog's out.